Hello, beloveds. How are you today? Um, I'm doing better. I, I, I had a rough night. <laughs> I hope it doesn't show too much, but yeah, I had a bit of a rough night. You ever have one of those, um, I don't know how to, ex to, to describe it, like a viral migraine? It, it was pretty intense. Um, and I'm like, oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to be better to be able to do this on time and, and meet with you guys, but uh, it, it happened. And, uh, yeah, a few miracles actually happened 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so, anyway, hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning for some of you. Uh, today, I'm going to give you a, a quick little overview of what um, soul traits are and what I'm talking about when I say soul traits. And... Um, we all have characteristics within ourselves, right? We have tendencies towards things and idiosyncrasies, hang-ups, uh, you know, are, are things that we, we do. And these are what make us special and make our personality happen and make our character take shape. And now there's also input from the outside world. You know that old argument, is it nature or nurture that crafts and carves who we are? Well, I do believe it's a combination of things. And this combination of things, I believe, leads to our soul traits. And these traits are not something, um, they're a great commodity to have, but they're not something that you just decide, hey, I think I'll pick that off of the, the hope tree. <laughs> hey, I think I'll pick that off of the grace tree. We actually have to grow in these soul traits, and it's not always an easy thing to do. And here's why. Because when we go through ad adversity, you know how I keep saying, I'm going to help you turn your tragedies into triumphs. Well, the thing is, when we go through those trials, our soul traits. They're, they're more of a spiritual thing that we cannot actually tangibly see or put our hands on. But these are the things that make up our character and make up all these other things I was talking about. So, how do you actually identify what your soul traits are? Well, here's the thing. It's not always easy, and sometimes it is easy. It depends on who you are as a person and what you've been through. And that usually dictates how you're going to be able to find them and how you might find out that they're hidden to, to you because you could be so wounded. If you are that wounded, you may not be able to say, oh, that's my soul trait. And this is why it's also important to know what they are in you. Because you need to know and understand. You need to know and understand what your positive traits are and what your not so positive traits are. Because this will help you define also how you fit in in the world. Because if you don't know, you could be uh, grasping for straws almost. And it's almost like well, I really want to fit in and do this calling, uh, mission, um, help, uh, or be a helper, or, or ministry, or anything like that. It's very, very challenging, but when you know your soul traits, it helps you to know where you fit in, in the scheme of things. So anyway, um, I go through all of this in one of my workbooks, and it's a downloadable guide that you can actually click on and download, and it's like really, really inexpensive. And um, it's just something I provide for you so you can just take a quick little look at things and say, oh, okay, I have this, now what do I do? And um, we're going to have like a really neat little uh, course that I'm going to take people through and help. And I think for the most part, when you are going through um, how I was talking about a trial or a challenge, you can also use these soul traits to help know where your strengths and weaknesses are. So that way you know how to gather up a good support system when you're going through something. So let me give you an example from, from my, my life story. Um, when my mother had cancer, 
um, it was very shocking to say the least. I was like, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. There's no way there must be a, you know, a false positive somewhere in her test. This can't be. And I, it was just so shocking because everything just happened so quickly. I couldn't catch up, but I knew enough to say, okay, this is my strength and this is my weaknesses. If you look at some of my older videos and my older posts and things like that, you can really see the process I was going through and it wasn't easy. And, you know, I want to provide tools and things so you guys can go through the process and not flounder and struggle. Because you could see me in some places, you know, some places I was just like shining like a big superstar, you know, in the sky. I knew what I was. I knew what my strengths were. And then there were places where I was just a hot mess. And I didn't know what to do. I, you know, I, I just... I couldn't find my footing upon solid ground. And this is something I want you guys to remember, and this should help you out for today. Whatever your spiritual um, background is, your foundation, your rock, I highly advise you to use this guide to have it line up with that plumb line and with whatever that rock is. You don't want to... You don't want to accidentally build up on a foundation that's not supportive to what you believe in. So, and this whole process is so adaptable to anybody's um, beliefs. But, you know, when you're looking for what your soul traits are, once you identify them, it's going to help you get through so many trials. And you can say, you know, this is my strength, this is my weakness. But you can put yourself around people who have strengths where you're weak. And, you know, you can learn. You can learn to, at first, you're just mimicking what other people are doing until it becomes second nature and natural. And I don't want to say it rubs off, but you do become accustomed to certain ways. And we can train ourselves. There are some things that will be um, natural to us and some things we have to learn. And that's okay. So what I try to do is I try to show how you can identify what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and then you kind of learn from other people. I hope that makes sense. Hey, what's up? Um, not much. We're just kind of, you know, hanging out on our Friday. It's Friday for us over here. So we're kind of chilling and just talking about some things, some soul traits and, you know, just things that we can uh, help each other, you know, and understand one another. I, let me give you this. You know how I always do that. And um, sending the warmth and the happiness your way. I do hope you're having a wonderful day and that you're going into your weekend excited and feeling that sense of fulfillment that you're going to have a wonderful time with friends and family. And, you know, if, if, if not, make sure you put yourself in a position where you can do that. Yeah? I can't disclose that. Yeah, I don't disclose that. I'm over 21. <laughs> yeah, um, because it's an, it's a, uh, you know, it's a security breach and all of that. You never want to, you never want to, uh, this is good helpful hints for you too, hon. You never want to disclose your address, uh, your, your age. Um, there's certain things you don't want to because, you know, in today's day and age, you've got to be so careful. And like you, all my followers are so supportive and wonderful, right? You're so supportive and wonderful. So, but yeah, I, I'll just say I'm over 21. <laughs> and I would not want to go backwards. I'm so grateful for uh, the the seasoning and, and the blessings that, that come with learning about yourself as, you know, somebody gets, gets older. It's so fun. Don't you think so? I think it's kind of cool. Um, so anyway, you know, learning about your soul traits is really important, don't you think? Because this way we can help other people. I mean, that this is what my page is for. My page is for helping other people and I help with dance, a little bit of yoga. I'm not a yoga master, teacher, or anything, but you know, just helpful little hints that I find as I'm learning. And um, but I am a professional dancer and dance educator, so you know, I feel very confident in my skills sharing those with you guys. And you know, my helpful little hints of how do we get around this world together and help one another because you know, it, we're all revolving around the sun in the same direction. We all get up the same way. We all go to bed the same way. And 
I just think we need to help each other. <laughs> it's just a really, really difficult world out there. Okay, so um, going back to what I was talking about, though, your soul traits are so important to you, and they're so important to this world. So we need to help each other. Uh, hey, thank you. Well, I think you're awesome. You know that? I think you're awesome, and I'll bet you anything. I'll bet you anything. You have a whole bunch of gifts and talents, and I bet you, I bet you speak, I bet you speak with so much authority and love. I think you have wonderful gifts and talents, and I think you've just started tapping into them. I, I think you could do so much to change the world, and I look forward to your contribution. I want to see what you do. Aww, the same to you, always. I think you're amazing, so. And thank you for choosing to spend a little bit of your time with me today. Um, I'm glad that I made the choice to be here so I could share with you and whoever else. I mean, it's it's a Friday and it's coming into the weekend, so it gets a little weird sometimes. You never know who's going to show up and, you know, people usually catch the broadcast afterwards. So I'm so glad you made it to the live version of this. So, um... Oh, you're precious. You're so precious. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, I, I'm coming off of a really severe migraine, so you don't know how much I appreciate that. Thank you. So much appreciate it. Um, so anyway, you know, it's so important, like I'm helping my friend out here. Um, we need to know what those traits are because once, like I said before, once we identify them, we can progress in the world so much quicker in helping ourselves and helping our friends and helping our family and people, strangers that we don't even know. So I really think it's important for you to tap into these traits and understand what they are and, you know, take advantage of the things that I share with you guys and be helped and know that you are loved and know that you are so important in this world and that you have a gift or a talent or a skill. You have something. You have something to offer this world and it's very precious. So hang tight. Um, let me know uh, if this, you know, helped you. And um, I look forward to our next little live session. And my staff is going to put up a whole bunch of memes. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> Thank you. Sending the love back to you. And, um, you know, let them know how they can help too. Um, because I, I have such a busy schedule. And it's not lack of love. It's lack of my time. I have so much that I do in a day. And, you know, when I, I get knocked on my rear end with these migraines, you know, anybody have some you know, natural solutions, I prefer natural, um, let me know, because sometimes I try everything, and it's like, okay, I'm just going to have to suffer through this, even with medication, this was like, whoa, so, um, you know, this one is probably most likely due to the fact that I caught something, and uh, I, yeah, I usually get migraines when I get sick, so, I'm okay, I'm not 100%, just a little bit under the weather, but I am here, uh, didn't get to my Pilates this morning. Mm, you know, what are you going to do? Don't guilt yourself. I've gotten over that. Did you ever go through that, guys? Where you actually guilted yourself if you didn't make a certain whatever task in the day that you committed to? Don't don't guilt yourself. As long as you're not flaking. Because sometimes, you know, that, that needs to be look at, looked at. That's not a positive soul trait, right? We need to look at that. But, um, you know, don't guilt yourself. This is out of my control. Things are out of your control. You had intention to do something, and something you had no control over happened. So give yourself a break for that, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm sending you the love. I think everybody here is so important and so special. So make sure that you feel that, and make sure you surround yourselves with people who make you feel that way. It's a give and take, so make sure you, feel, make, sure you make other people feel that way too. Okay, peace, love, blessings. Midnight tonight. I'm going to do my darndest to come back, yeah? So midnight tonight, Pacific Standard Time. Check it out. Um, more information is going to be posted underneath this video. So if you want to download various things that I have as tools for you, please do because it's going to help you so much. All right, so sending you the peace, joy, and love. And uh, yeah. Have an awesome weekend if I don't see you tonight. So I'm sending you out to the weekend.
All right. With a lot of love, right? Okay. Take care. Bye.